Here's the moment of truth. Is it going to fit? Oh yes! Success! Welcome to episode 8 of the All Wheel Drive Mustang Project. Well, I've been pretty busy since the last episode um, with a lot of little details. I've actually mostly been focused on the front spindles, but I'm going to go into that in the next video. This is going to be just a shorter installment here, kind of covering a few minor details of the transmission. Uh, while I was working on the spindles, I designed, ordered, and received the little spud shaft, the little adapter that goes between uh, the output shaft of the transmission and the input of the transfer case. So I'm going to show that in detail. I also have an update on the shifter and some other minor details on the output seal. So let's get into it. So it fits, but it doesn't go quite down far enough um, per my original uh, design. So I'm going to have to increase the chamfer on the inside of the spline, but the fact that it fits at all um, after being wire EDM'd is a huge success and to say I'm excited is a understatement. Let's see if it fits the transfer case, if the OD spline fits the transfer case. So here's the input to the transfer case. As you can see this is the V8 uh, Dodge Charger mock-up transfer case with the coarse pitch spline and once again here's my wire EDM'd and heat treated adapter. So once again here's the test and it fits. Actually it fits perfect and there'll be more engagement than the factory piece. Here's the factory piece I was mimicking. I showed that in the previous video so the spline had to match that but it had to have the internal spline to fit the 31 tooth spline that I machined onto the shaft that was covered in the previous video. So as you can see it fits here and it fits on the transmission but I will have to increase this bevel here a little bit to get it to sit as low as I intended to get the engagement length correct. To uh, get the splined uh, spud adapter to fit properly I chucked it up in the lathe and used a carbide inserted uh, boring bar to uh, remove some of the spline on the inside. Uh, it took about 150 thousandths of an inch off to get it to seat properly. The adapter is already hard, but to be honest, it machined uh, pretty nice. So I bored a actual counter bore uh, in the inside versus a simple chamfer to get the height right. So now, when you put it on the end of the transmission here on the, on the splines, it actually goes down to the correct height and the transfer case now can be fully um, set onto the back of the transmission. Lining up the splines can be a little tricky here, especially when there's no bearings in the transmission and the shaft walks, but there we go. Another piece of the puzzle I have figured out is I needed to find a seal that would fit into the bore of the C5 tail housing here and then would ride right here on this diameter that's on the GT500 main shaft. Now in the GT500 application this is actually where the VSS reluctor ring goes on but it is a nice ground surface and it measures 35 millimeters in diameter and it turns out just a normal C5 vet tail housing uh, oil seal works so this is a, just an actual GM part seems to be appropriate. So that was a, a little lucky and uh, now we can move on. Another piece of the puzzle I've been working on and I think I have a solution for is the shifter. A couple videos ago I talked about how my original idea was to use this GT500 um, shifter from MGW originally intended for an S197 uh, GT500. This is a beautiful piece and really just is a work of art when it comes to machining. Um, but it's really quite tall in this region, which doesn't matter at all in the original GT500 application, but really doesn't work when, I'm, when I basically put a transfer case uh, below it. It's just really too tall. And so instead, I found this uh, used MGW shifter for a 5th Gen Camaro. 
and uh, this is I'll need to extend the shift rod to um, work in my application but it may not be obvious comparing them side by side but it, the mechanism is dramatically shorter like by almost an inch now in MGW's defense I think this is a superior design especially if you chassis mount the shifter because uh, this gets rid of some of the slot between the shift mechanism and the rod going back and forth but since I'm going to rigidly mount the shifter to the transmission and not the body I actually think this technique will work and will be acceptable and it also you said it gets my height where I need it to be so I'm going to mock this up in more detail after I get the transmission back from the shop that's going to assemble it for me well that's it for this video I now have everything I need in place to box up and ship the transmission off to get assembled. Uh, like I mentioned a few videos ago, uh, rather than putting the transmission together myself, I'm just going to send it off to somebody with a little more experience and make sure it's all done properly and preloaded and has the all the parts, the little parts that I may not actually have for it. So that shouldn't take actually very long, a couple of weeks. And so when I get back, I'll then continue on the shifter and start getting it back into the car. In the meantime, I'll continue on the spindles, which has actually been my main focus. So um, I have some exciting uh, progress on that. I'll share in the next video. Once again, uh, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.